Oh boy, I have not posted on Bobby Buckets in a long time, but after what happened tonight, as a a Hornets fan who has suffered and suffered and suffered for so long, I feel like I have earned the right <laughs> to post the video after LaMelo Ball just set the record for the youngest player to ever get a triple double in NBA history. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Buck is back. I'm honestly like high key, I'm tempted to just start uploading videos talking about the NBA just because I've been watching the NBA so much more this season than I really have in any other th season. We'll we'll take a look at some of the stats real quick. I think I'm going to get copyrighted if I actually like look at the the actual gameplay but oh my gosh lamello ball is the real freaking deal and i didn't think he would be uh, those of you who follow me on twitter know i was very skeptical of lamello ball when he was first drafted um i just feel like he had not really done a whole lot to prove himself Playing in the Australian League, his stats weren't really that great, but he has just improved in game after game. This could have been back-to-back -back triple doubles. If we're being completely honest, you can see 22 points on 9 of 13 shoot. Most of the misses came toward, I think he was like, what? I think he was at 90% shooting and missed his last couple shots, but 11 assists, 12 rebounds. He only had one turnover. 11 assists, one Freaking turnover, plus 18 on the plus minus. He only played 31 minutes. Somehow, we are still playing Devontae Graham more than we're playing LaMelo Ball. Devontae Graham, he, he was great for us last season. Don't get me wrong. He's been a walking trash can this season. What? Let me see. His field goal percentage, 27%. We're giving this guy 32 minutes per game. Let's see how much LaMelo has been averaging per game. I'm sorry. I'm, like, very excited right now because it seems like the Hornets have a chance of being slightly above average. I'm not saying they're winning a championship. I'm not even saying they're going to make it past the first round of the playoffs. But LaMelo Ball, 40% from the field, 32% from three. For a rookie, that's definitely not bad at all. This man has been balling out. Could have had back-to-back triple-double. And that's, on, that's not even on, like, oh, playing every other night. That's on consecutive nights. Last night... Could have had it versus the Pelicans. Didn't get it last night because Borrego had something against LaMelo, apparently, and took him out for the last three minutes, and he wasn't able to get it. And also, Terry absolutely could have very easily taken that wide-open three-pointer at the end of the game last night. But you know what? That's beside the point. LaMelo Ball is the real freaking deal. We People thought that Lonzo was going to be the real deal. He wasn't. I didn't really think he was, to be honest. Um... Lonzo never lived up to the hype. Obviously, Leangelo, like, I feel bad for the guy. He was just, he he's a middle child. That's what happens to middle children. <laughs> but Lonzo, I really did not think he was going to be this good. Thirty Tied 30th for assists, and keep in mind, he's not getting that. He's getting 24 minutes per game, which is really, really low given the stats that he has. So that's part of the reason why he's like 88th in player efficiency rating. Not that that's crazy high, but when you look at other players that are supposed to be superstars, like if you look at Russell Westbrook, let, let's look at Westbrook real quick. Let's look at Russell Westbrook real quick. I believe below 150th. In player efficiency rating. And for some reason, you can't see that right now. But if I move that over there, you can see uh, about 13 for his player efficiency rating below 150th. Yes, he's second in assists per game, but his field goal percentage is terrible. His turnover, he's averaging 5.3 turnovers per game. Let me see LaMelo. Let me see LaMelo's turnovers per game. I guarantee you it's better than 5.3 because holy crap, that's got to be the worst in the league. Oh my gosh, shout out to Trey, he is a Westbrook fan, good for you for sticking up for him, but uh, looks like 2.2 on the season, obviously 2.2 is not great, but on 40% field goal, 32%, and that's not to necessarily say this is going to happen every game for the season, he's a rookie, he's going to have his ups and downs, but the Hornets have been looking good right now. Apparently, there's been audio running the entire time, so if that was way too loud, I do apologize. I wonder, oh, that was at max volume. I could hear it through my headphones. 
Hopefully, that's not something that's going to ruin the video, but all that to say, as a Hornets fan, I'm excited for the future of this franchise. I did not think we were going to be anything remotely good anytime soon, and LaMelo Ball got me hype. What can I say? That's going to be it for the video. If you guys want to see more of this type of video, let me know down in the comments. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.